to see who's paying attention. What kind of equation would you call that? Radical? Sure, I agree. I, I, I would call that a radical equation as well. And if you wanted to, you could solve it like a radical equation and it would work out just fine, right? I would also argue that this is an equation that could be thought of as being quadratic in form. How do I get away with saying that? I don't even put any exponents. How about that? X, the cube root of... Not cube root, but... The square root of x is x squared. One half is what you mean to say? Yeah. And that's x to the first, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Is this exponent twice as much as that exponent? Mm -hmm. So if I wanted to, I could work this like a quadratic in form equation. Or I could work it like a radical equation and isolate the radical in one. Okay, there's, there's two ways you could approach it. Okay? I'm curious, are any of y'all interested in either one of those approaches for this? Or do you just want to leave it on the board and walk away from it? What does this mean? Let's go. All right. Quadratic in form or radical? Radical. radical. Okay. If we're doing this as a radical equation. What you don't know is we're going to do it both ways. But I, I wanted you guys to at least get the pick first. So if I'm doing this as a radical equation, then what do I need to do to isolate that radical? Subtract your x. Subtract the x over. Good. I am supposed to divide by negative 5, but then I have fractions, don't I? And I don't want fractions. Okay, but there is one thing I think you should do to clean up just a little bit. <coughs> the, the negatives. I think we should get, go ahead and get rid of the negatives. Divide out the negatives, and that way at least we have positive or numbers. Okay, so boom, boom, boom. There you go. If I go through and divide by negative 1, or multiply through by negative 1, I'm just changing my signs, aren't I? Okay. So... <coughs> Um, if I change my signs, and now I square both sides because I don't want fractions. On the left hand side, squaring the 5 gets me 25. And squaring the square root of x gets me x. And that equals over here. Nice. That's a quadratic equation that I should get in the standard form by subtracting off the 25x's. Uh, is it 17? still going to get nice answers. How lucky is that? Okay, so this is, yeah, x minus 16 times x minus 1. From which we potentially get x equals 16 or x equals positive 1. And I don't have room to check them both, but we're going to check them together and we're going to find out which ones work and which ones don't. Is everyone fine with that? You all understand on the test, you would actually write out the checking, right? Yeah, okay. So if I take 16 and actually plug it in, uh, this is going to be 16 minus whatever that is. Uh, the square root of 16 is 4, and 5 times 4 is 20, and is 16 minus 20 negative 4? Yeah, so the 16 works. One works as well? Yeah, because the square root of 1 is 1, so this is 5 times 1, 5. 1 minus 5 is negative 4, so yeah. They both worked. I really thought the answer was going to be 9. Yeah? If we can do it in our head, are you still going to take Yes. Yes, if it's a radical equation, I told you, I want to see on paper where you did it. Right? You can do it in your head on the homework all you want. I'll never know, but I, I want to see. And the only way you can show me that is by writing it on paper. You're demonstrating that you know that you have to check that problem. So can I just like plug in for x and v in here? Like do one, two, skip a few? 
Yeah. Don't be wrong. All right. Um, so that's working there as a radical equation. Um, if I'm working this as a quadratic in form kind of problem, then I would say u equals this x to the one half. Question: If it's already, if it already has the square root, why? Y equals negative 4. Again, that's a quadratic equation in terms of u. If I add that 4 over, that becomes a, a, an equation that's really easy to solve. Really easy to factor. Yeah, u minus 4 times u minus 1. From which we get u equals either 4 or u equals 1. But that's u, not x, right? So, um, in terms of x, what was u? U was, that sounds like bad grammar. Yeah. We defined u to be the square root of x, essentially, right? So, if the square root of x equals 4, over here, what's x? Square both sides? And we already showed over there, it checks, right? And over here, if the square root of x equals 1, when I square both sides, I get x equals, surprise, 1. So I get the same solutions. Either way, right? What's up, Tara? Uh, 